Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you uh, my new plugin. It is called Ultimate AutoCAD button for WooCommerce. And as its name suggests, that this plugin will help you customize the AutoCAD button for your product on your WooCommerce store. So uh, let's look at the site before uh, we activate the plugin. So we have we go to the shop. I'm using storefront theme and you see that we have the default AutoCAD button uh, provides by storefront here and if you use a different different theme then you may have different buttons. Uh, so what the plugin uh, helps you is it will let you add an icon before the text here, change the text add the change the background color um, and background color on hover and uh, some some more customization and the limit there isn't any limit then the limit is your imagination so let me quickly activate the plugin and uh, apply some configurations and see uh, how the plugin works So I'm go back, go. Uh, so I'm going back to my plugin dashboard here and activate the plugin here. I'm using the pro version, and there's a free version that you can download from WordPress.org. The pro version, uh, the pro version, of course, has more customizations than the free version. So let's go to config buttons here. Is that styling our our buttons? So uh, this is the initial settings of the plugin. There isn't any anything set set up yet. So you can change the button text here. So as you may know that WooCommerce come comes with three default product type: simple product, variable product and grouped product and each uh, each product each types has a different different uh, AutoCAD text for example simple product will have AutoCAD this is a grouped product and it has few products here and also select options it is for variable product so you can change the text right here so for example I'm going to Add something, add some text to that variable. Well, it doesn't make any sense, but uh, let's set the text here to make uh, to see the difference. So I go ahead and save settings and go to this page and reload it. And you see that the text has changed. So it is uh, it is very simple to do so to change the text on your product page. And the next thing we the next thing we are going to do is to add an icon to these buttons. So usually you see that other card button usually have the card icon. So let's select the card icon for our button. I select this one. Press save settings. Go back to our product page. And sure enough, you see that there's an icon here, but it looks uh, not really, really good. So we're going to adjust the size of the button to make the icon looks uh, better. So go back here. So, uh, check this box first to use the custom button size so I'm going to use uh, a button width with 150 pixel if you pixel you don't need to enter anything below here because pixel is the default default option and button height would be 40 let's see how it looks go to our shop page reload it and you see that 
the card is now on the button but the text uh, looks a bit off this is because uh, the theme your theme this is storefront it has button for the button so I'm going to set the, bu the buttons button to zero on top and bottom and click on save settings I'm going to reload it and you see that we have the text now aligned center vertically on the button and that's it with uh, just a few few tricks now we have a better uh, looking uh, buttons so um, it's, this is not all the plugin can offer you can of course change the icon here or you can use an image instead of an icon and this is a pro version a pro feature so you need to use the pro version to, to have this one and if you want to quickly change the size of the buttons uh, we have some presets here and uh, currently I'm using default shop style that means um, I haven't uh, that, that means uh, most of the style of this button comes from the theme what if I want to change to something like Amazon so I select that click on save settings okay go back here reload that and sure enough you see that the buttons looks like what if on Amazon so there are a few a few presets Lazada it is quite famous in Southeast Asia reload that and we have a different button and you see that this one it has the icon overlap the text no problem you can increase the button width a bit like 160 pixels so save settings go back to our page and reload maybe we need a bit more than just 160 so add more size like that now go back to the shop page and you see that the, the button looks really really good okay so uh, what's next so the presets are cool but uh, the, the true power comes from the other options on this page so you can see that we have the offer the, the option to set the custom background for the button so I'm going to select uh, reset this will reset all other settings of the button and we're going to create a very very different uh, a very professional button from the grow up so I select this option and uncheck all these these checkbox click on save settings and go back to this page and you see that the buttons are truly ugly so the first thing we need to set the size of the button check this box and I, I'm going to keep this size and I'm going to use custom background so we have uh, three options for the, the buttons background either you want to use a solid color a gradient or an image in this video I'm going to cover solid color and gradient so we have the button uh, has two two states a normal state and on cursor hover and I'm going to set a very quick style for this one for example I want on normal state the background would be this and on hover the background would be something like this and uh, maybe I want to use some border radius to create the roundness around the corner so five pixel on every corner and now I click on save settings and go to this shop page and reload and you see that we have a different button and when I hover on the button you see that it is the color has changed and if you click on this button you will see cool animation appears here you see that there's a loading icon and then a tick icon notifies the the customer that the product has has been added to cart 
And what if you don't want to use a solid color? You want to use gradient instead. So I click on the gradient on this, this one here. Go to gradient color. I'm going to quickly create a gradient. If you don't know what gradient is, then you can do a quick Google search. It is very simple. It is uh, a combination of uh, two or more colors. Back to text color. Let's enter some random button, a random number. So save settings. Go back to our page, reload that. And you see that the button has, uh, I know, it has depth. And when I hover on that, we see the color has changed. So that is that's it. that is great. And if I click on buy now, then you see this you still see that cool animation. So what else? What else can this uh, button offer? So uh, you can see that we have a quantity star here. So go to go to a single product here, and you see that. This is the default style of the, of the theme. And it looks OK, not very, very attractive. Then we can have something to do with that. I'm going to quantity style here. At first, we need to use it. If you don't check this, uh, this box, then there will uh, be no effect on this, this button, this, this box. So you can. I usually uh, select this, display minus and an add button around quantity uh, on the left is minus, on the right is a plus, like this one. And you, uh, you should uh, select the size for, for the quantity box, uh, maybe 40, 40 pixel height to match the height of the, of the button here. Okay, so I'm going to do the same with the increase and decrease button. Increase and decrease button usually square. So 40, 40. And select the icon. Select the style. If you want something minimal, you can go with this. Or you can go with this. It is, uh, it is available for you to choose. So I'm going to select this. As I'm going to add more style to, to this one, then we will have more styles to choose from. And uh, do you want to hide the uh, up and down arrow. Let me show you this one. This is the arrow. This is uh, the default behavior of a number input. But if you want to hide it, just click on that. Now I'm going to save settings and go back to our product page. Reload that. And you see that we have a very nice increase and decrease button here. Let's see? can increase and decrease button very very easily and you can change the style to match your theme so I reload this then we have a different increase and decrease button so that is a very quick tour of uh, my new plugin I hope you enjoy that and if you have any question or feature request please don't hesitate to contact me then you can uh, right now you can download the plugin, the free version and pro version to, to use right now. The links are in the description. Thank you very much for your attention and I'll see you in the next videos.